I think one of the most debated issues amongst waterfowl hunters is choke tubes. Most new shotguns come with five different sizes. So I've got a test set up to help determine when to shoot what. We're going to pattern some different choke tubes at distances of 20, 30, and 40 yards. And I've set up 48 by 36 inch pieces of cardboard to shoot, and the colored squares help give us some perspective. They're the height and width of an incoming mallard duck. <laughs> Now I'm going to be doing all the shooting today with my waterfowl hunting gun. It's a Smith & Wesson Model 1012 series. It has a 3 inch chamber, a 28 inch barrel, and the whole gun is wrapped in Realtree Max 4 high definition camo. Of the five choke tubes that this shotgun comes with, I'm going to shoot the two most common for waterfowl hunters, improved cylinder and modified. I'm shooting Federal's Black Cloud 12 gauge, 3 inch number 2 size shot. We're using the Black Cloud because the flight control wad will give us more consistent patterns. And I'm shooting 3 inch number 2 size shot because it's my preferred choice for hunting. We'll save shot sizes and lengths for another debate. I've got two targets set up downrange at 20 yards. We're going to compare both our choke tubes, starting with the improved cylinder. A quick change with the choke tube wrench, and we'll shoot our modified choke. Okay, here's our improved cylinder target. And as you can see, we have plenty of number two size shot covering the entire target area. We even have a few holes up above and down below. Our overall height is 30 inches, and our overall width is 25 inches. Plenty of shot and a little extra forgiveness in the improved cylinder at 20 yards. Now this is our modified target. As you can see, it's a very lethal impact zone at 20 yards. We're only 21 inches across and our height is 16 inches and there's no escape shot pellets off of the target area. Even the wad went all the way through the cardboard in the target area on this one. Very lethal impact, but you don't have a lot of room for air with a modified choke at 20 yards. We're going to add 10 more yards, move these back to 30 yards, put up new target areas, and compare the same two choke tubes. First, we'll shoot the improved cylinder. Now the modified. We're back at our improved cylinder target at 30 yards and adding 10 yards of distance has really made some changes in our pattern. If you look through the target area, we still have plenty of shot. We're starting to get more shot off the bottom, off the top, and off both sides. The key here is the gaps. I can find places to fit my entire hand where there's no pellets hitting the target area. Now even though there is enough shot here to bring down a bird, we're starting to spread out. You're starting to get holes in your shot group. Now over here in our target area shot with the modified choke tube, you notice that they're starting to look similar, but there's some key differences I want to show you. First of all is the width. We only have a couple pellets that have strayed off the right and left edges. So we have a tighter, narrower group with the modified choke tube. And our pattern throughout the target area is not as gapped. There's not as many places I can fit my hand. So you have a more lethal impact zone. We're going to add 10 more yards at our final distance and shoot both choke tubes at 40. We'll lead with the improved cylinder. And finally, the modified choke tube at 40 yards. Well, we have officially passed the capabilities of our improved cylinder at 40 yards. We now have shot spread all the way across the board. There's scattered holes here and there all over our entire board. Technically, is there enough cluster of shot here and there to bring down a bird? That's true, but this is not a good enough group for me to tell you it's an ethical shot. Okay, I got to admit, this one's a little on the shooter. You'll notice that the better part of my group is a little high and left. Now that was me on the trigger. But keeping that in mind, you'll see we still have a very good dense pattern spread throughout here. This is plenty of shot to bring a duck down at 40 yards. So what do you do with all this information? Well, it's really up to you. You got to apply it for your hunting needs. If you hunt an area where the ducks are coming into your face 20, 25 yards, use the improved cylinder. You'll get a little forgiveness. Ducks stay out 35, 40 yards. 
go with the modified, you're gonna need that tighter group at that distance. And that's the beauty of the modern choke tube system. You can change as you go. And I recommend you check all five of your choke tubes, know exactly what you have.